Welcome Leos. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. However, if this message does happen to resonate, be sure to like and comment and share with your family and your friends. All right. So we got a jumper. Blessed jumped out. Okay. So it looks like some of y'all will be blessed, but some of y'all may have to bounce from a situation. Some of y'all have to leave a situation behind because y'all got some type of luck or some type of abundance or some type of blessing on the other side, okay? But you guys are having to wake up and walk away from a situation. We got woke and bounce. So you guys got to wake up from a situation that's no longer for you. Some of y'all have to go ahead and leave a situation in order to get the type of results that you're looking for, all right? So since spirit, spirit is already giving us messages we need to just go ahead and write <laughs> all right so what else all right we got shook so there's some type of something out of the blue you may have be surprised um about a situation we got turn some of y'all may be surprised that somebody got some receipts okay somebody's got some receipts on somebody possibly being like a simp you really find out that somebody's is a little, you know, a little simp, and they've been capping the whole time, okay? This person could have been just turning up, wilding out, doing the most, and you thinking that this person isn't like that, but you may be surprised to find out that somebody a little wild. Alright, yeah, see, we got slut shaming. So, somebody's being judged. Maybe you're judging this person. This person may look very attractive. Maybe they like to show off their body or show off their little, you know, their little fist may have, someone may go to the gym or something like that. And they're swole and have a nice fit body. Um, they're very attractive. But we got sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Somebody got finessed. All right? Somebody got finessed. Somebody could be getting finessed, okay? When somebody's doing a lot of capping. Somebody's doing a lot of capping. It's a lot of capping going on. And somebody really is being finessed, okay? So, tell me more. Tell me more. All right? So, we got some messages coming through. So, you're communicating with somebody. You may find out that somebody's kind of like fake. We got filter. It could be somebody that's younger or somebody who's just young-minded. Like, their energy is just young. Somebody could just be trying to get insta-famous, okay? Somebody could be looking for attention. It's my attention card, okay? But, yeah, a situation. Look at this. We got benching, putting someone on hold. The grass not greener. And then we have draking. This means that a relationship is ending. A relationship or a situation is ending. You're missing someone. It could be emotional, lonely, depressed, or sad. Okay. Like I said, shaking my head here. Something was a big flex. Okay. Maybe you're wanting to put this person on blast because you just find out that this person is capping. Okay. But spirit is saying, look, once this situation ends, there's something better. There's something better that's right around the corner because I'm getting somebody could be getting finesse. Somebody could be getting finesse and they're not sorry about it. They do this. Maybe they use their body or their physical looks or their attraction to real people in. Um, maybe there's a text message that comes through. You find out that this person is being fake. Somebody's just trying to get attention, wants attention, want the spotlight, trying to be important. Instagram fame, public recognition, somebody did something for attention, okay? You could find out that somebody's doing something for attention. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump into the tarot. Give me a message from Leo's, please. 
Give me a message for Leo's, please. Oh, okay, y'all got jumpers. Y'all talking a lot today. The Emperor. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Aries. Or you could be dealing with somebody that's older. Um, we'll jump into it. We're going to get some clarifiers. Yeah, see. We got the Ten of Wands. You're feeling burdened by something. I feel like you want to... You want... You're doing, you're tired from doing something all by yourself. Okay, so it looks like you're the one putting in most of the work. Um, although you want this, you want this love, like you want this. We got the nine of cups and the lovers. You got your mindset and you see exactly how it is. Like a lot of y'all fantasize about how you want this love to go. Okay, that's confirmation. Thank you, spirit. All right, you've been seeing how, you know, what other people got going on, how other people are doing it. And it's like, you want that too. You want that too. So you got this vision of how you want something to go. All right, so let's see. You've been waiting for somebody to grow up emotionally. I feel like you got a lot of hope for this situation. But it could be leaving you confused. It could be leaving you confused. And I see somebody is extremely prideful. This could be a pride factor. Like somebody's letting their pride get in the way. Now we got the king of cups and the emperor here. So two male energies here. Or somebody could have a lot of water in their chart or a lot of fire. Now I do want to go jump straight into the emperor energy. Why is the emperor here? Eight of cups. Okay. So you feel like this person could walk away from you at any time. Um, This could confuse you. I feel like you want to change this person. Well, a fortune and a knight of pentacles could be a Capricorn. You want to change this person, but you find out some shock of truth. Now, the tower and the ace of swords is here. There is some type of clarity that comes out of the blue that could disappoint you. You could have been disappointed. This could have already happened, or this could be happening now or ahead in the near future. I feel like some of y'all may find out that somebody could be married here with the justice and the harfant. This is somebody who's legally married. So some of y'all may be finding out some type of truth, like that somebody has another situation or something like that. Um, and I feel like you feel like this person could just walk away. This is somebody that you love, somebody that you care about, or somebody that you have a lot of hope for. You feel like this person could walk away at any time. Now, tell me why the three of wands here. Yep, and you put in a lot of work. Three of Pentacles. You built something. You feel like you're building with this person. You put in the work. Yep, you manifested this. Maybe you're telling this person, look, we can make this work. You feel like we can make this work. But like I said, I feel like there's a lot of spying going on. Maybe you're watching this person. You want this person to put in the effort. You want them to put in real effort because I feel like you have. Now, we got the King Cups here with um, what's crowning you. He's dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, but somebody is feeling like something's put on hold. Like, maybe you're trying to um, keep this person from walking away from you. I see a lot of spying. I see some stalking, like actual stalking. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands is somebody actually stalking. You could be, like, actively watching this person, like, all the time. You, you're getting to know their every move, okay? Now, the Star card is here. You could be done with an Aquarius. Yeah, you hear you saying, I hope not. This person could be telling you, like, I'm not, I went and walk out on you. Um, it's just gonna be us for life. And you're saying, Look, I hope not. Now we got the Knight of Swords in the recent past. You could be dealing with a Capricorn specifically with the devil card here, but this shit is crazy. It's getting crazy, it's getting toxic, it's it's getting to the point to where it's get it's wild. I'm hearing wow, things are getting wow. And I feel like you're giving it your all, but things are just still like a little chaotic. Not a little chaotic. This is chaotic. The devil and the knight of swords energy, like that's some wow energy. Okay, so 
I feel like maybe with the temperance energy moving ahead, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, or you're trying to balance this situation out. Like you're trying to have be at peace, but things are just so wild when it comes to the situation. It's leaving you confused. Like you're confused a lot dealing with this person. Yeah, you feel like some changes need to be made. Your intuition could be telling you you need to um, communicate to this communicate this to this person, but you may feel like this person isn't listening or they're not um, accepting your offer when you come to them and tell them how you feel. I'm getting a separation. Somebody could definitely be separated. Now we got the three of swords, four of swords, and the four of wands. Definitely I'm getting like a separation. Um, someone could be legally separated or there is separation. Somebody is going through something like they're separated from someone else i feel like there could possibly be like another somebody is like juggling two situations i feel like you could be regretting this this connection could be regretting this connection that could have been the tower and the ace of swords maybe you found out the truth about this person That's seven of cups here. six of wands I see you trying to mingle and trying to be get this person to be on the same page with you, but you're, you it's something that you don't think is true. I feel like somebody you could be putting the blinders on to a situation or somebody bringing you some information and you just don't believe it. There's somebody, I feel like there's somebody could be, um, you don't have all the information. Why is the six of wands here? You, you feel like you're this person's best choice. Why is the six of wands here? Four of pentacles. Yes. You feel like this person just needs to just stick around. You're the best choice, best option for them. But you're keeping your eyes open like I'm getting the sense that you don't trust this person. You don't trust what this person is telling you. I'm sensing uh, there could definitely be another person that someone is actively seeing with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Empress here. Okay, so there could definitely be a third party here. I feel like you sense that. Now, this person that you're dealing with they're in judgment. Like they they've made the final decision that they're gonna keep moving forward. This person is persevering. Like this person is adamant. Like, no, I'm I'm just gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna keep this moving forward. But this person is they do they do have secrets. We got the moon, the nine of cups. They wanna keep moving forward. But they are hiding things, okay? They five of swords and the two of cups. I'm getting like a rebound situation. Like the five of swords and the two of cups is somebody who knows straight up that something is wrong. And then we got the two of cups, and this is talking about the connection. So this person is actively like, no, we're going to move forward. We're pushing forward. Don't believe what this person's saying. Don't believe what they're doing. Don't they lying on me type of energy. But this person is really like, they know. They know that they're wrong. Some of y'all feel stuck in a situation. You feel trapped. Because they're that four of wands again. Some of y'all feel trapped in a situation. I'm telling you, so I'm keep getting like someone could be married or they live with you or they live with someone else. And it's, I'm just getting like somebody has, somebody is definitely like back and forth. Somebody is not consistent. They're not consistent. They're separated. Maybe they don't live. Somebody isn't living together, but they're separated. Okay. Now, we got the strength card as the outcome, which is Leo's energy. You could be dealing with another Leo. Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all just jumped out there and took a risk. Y'all took a leap of faith in the situation. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? 
Nine of Swords. I feel like when you think about when you think about this situation, it makes you want to cry. Um, you feel like the situation could be too risky, but maybe some of y'all are feeling like y'all in too deep with the situation. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Empress. Empress and the King of Wands. Tell me why the Empress is here. The Five of Cups. I feel like some of you, there could be a pregnancy here that you may re end up feeling kind of like remorseful about or in a situation or feeling like, you know, I'm not ready. Why's the Five of Cups and the Empress here? Four of Swords. Yeah, like some of you guys could think that you are pregnant. And you think that you could regret it. Some of y'all feel alone. We got the King of Pentacles, maybe you're and the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like is um you're you're looking at your finances. Maybe you feel like it's going to take two people. Uh, if you were, some of you think that you're pregnant. Some of y'all, I'm getting like, some of y'all could think that you could be pregnant. But you don't trust this person. You don't trust what this person is telling you. I, I clearly see that. Like, you feel like this person could just get up at any given time and just walk out and do what they please, move how they want to move. And you're not trying to be in a situation to where you're doing something alone. Like, you're doing, putting a bill, you're doing everything alone. I'm seeing like some of y'all want the two parent or the two, both are financially handling the responsibility. All right, so tell me this person's intentions towards my Leo. So let's go ahead and get the tea. Okay, so. Okay. Be careful with this person because we got not today in abundance in camera and palm tree. I feel like this person could be watching your bank account and they're looking to see like what your finances are looking like. Because I got camera abundance and not today in palm tree. Now this makes me feel like this is has something to do with somebody account. They're looking at your funds or listening to listening really close to when you talk about your funds. And then if not, like if things, this person could just be wild and I'm getting a lot of wild energy, but it's like somebody is saying like, well, I'm going to sabotage this connection because um, we got hammer and passion. So this really makes me feel like somebody's trying to sabotage the connection. Somebody's trying to sabotage the connection is what I'm getting. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, I, I can't make this shit up. This person is tries to seduce you. They be working in magic, but they really a snake. We got the snake. This person used their, their wand, <laughs> per se. And if they don't, if especially be careful if this person asks you for something and they're always constantly asking for something. It's like they're using that to lead in the relationship. Tell me what else. 
We got the phoenix and the X. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it's a lot of lots of harsh things. Like this person's energy is really like harsh. This person is willing to sabotage certain things if something doesn't go in their favor. Now we got the phoenix, and this is rekindling. They're saying like, look, we ain't gonna get back together. We're not gonna rekindle um, unless. I get what I want type of energy. Like, you're you going to give me what I want. And then, like I said, separation and mirror. Okay, so somebody's mirroring them. Somebody, or they're mirroring somebody that they're separated from. Or when you guys do separate, y'all mirror each other's energy. This is, a, for some of y'all, this is a karmic relationship. And it's built off of fake promises. Now, with this kisses, this is somebody who's just kissing up. Um, it's just like falling in love. Somebody fell in love with their karmic. Somebody fell in love with their karmic. And now they did it. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Because this is deep. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.